Hey everyone, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you guys Ojame BCs. Um, basically what this deck is, is a turn three deck. Um, what I mean by that is regardless of if you're going first or second, you're actually going to be making better plays on your second turn. Um, most of the, your first turn is going to just be kind of like setting up, setting everything up for your next turn. So as long as you get through your opponent's turns, you're just going to go off on your second turn and just destroy them. So I want to show you guys some replays and discuss some of the new um, Ojama cards that make this combo possible. So as we see, it's just going to really be um, milling Ojama duo, searching a hanger, then using the hanger to get a piece and equipping it with B. And then after that, it's going to be set party and pass. Um, so let's talk about party. Uh, this card's really insane, but the effect that I'm really going to be discussing first is this second effect down here. That during the main phase, you can add one Ojama card to your hand, and then discard one card. And that's the main reason that this card is really broken. Um, I'll probably discuss the rest of the effects in the deck profile. If you guys just want to skip ahead to see that, but um, you should probably check out these replays because they're pretty insane. Um, our opponent's playing Fluffle Invoked, so they're just gonna like make this board of like Mechaba and <laughs> Mechaba basically. And it was a really interesting idea. I thought if they were just playing pure Fluffles, they would actually have had a better chance to win because Fluffle is definitely an OTK deck. So if they had just like gone for Fluffalo TK, they might have done better. But um, what happened here was they just like wanted to get that Mechaba and play Invoked and not Fluffalo TK. But um, so yeah, now we're basically gonna win here. So a really cool combo that you can do with Party is by adding Ojama Magic and then discarding it, you get Ojama Magic's effect to search three um Ojamas. So it's really easy to make a Skuldi with four names in this deck because of of Duo. And then there's also Jama Party. And there's just so much in this deck that just allows you to um, just generate a lot of big monsters really easily. So it's just... And another thing to talk about here is Ojama Modification. So this is one the reason that... Um, Ojama ABC is possible. So what this card does is you reveal a light machine monster and then you banish the um, Ojamas equal to the material to summon it and then you summon each of the material from your hand deck or graveyard. So it's basically from anywhere. And then its second effect is you can target three um, banished Ojamas, return them to your deck, and then draw a card. And none of these effects are once per turn either. So you can just keep doing like all these insane combos pretty consistently. And this guy just summons a token, and the token has attack equal to the strongest monster on the field. So it's kind of just um, an extra beat stick. But that extra beat stick just caused no TK. So let's see some more uh, replays and a deck list. So th with this next replay, um. I kind of want to talk about the weaknesses to this deck, which um, I kind of mentioned in the first replay, is OTK decks. Um, I think if it wasn't for me having Ash, or for if I haven't if I hadn't set like Duo for the search effect, I probably w would have lost this game because Blue Eyes is an OTK deck. Um, but like after this, after he passes his turn. I'm just going to make a huge board, and there's really nothing that they're going to be able to respond with. Which is just what like makes this deck incredibly insane, is if this deck goes uninterrupted, on its second turn, it is more than likely going to win. And even if you do have negates, like we saw with the Mechaba, negating a draw four, the deck was still made a crazy insane board. Like, the deck doesn't depend on Skull Deep, but Drawing 4 is, it's still Drawing 4, it's still insanely broken. Um, there's just, like, no way to get around this board, because once once this deck goes off, it's going off really hard. 
and it's just ending the game. All right, so let's get one more replay in and a deck list for you guys. All right, so let's check out this final replay. Um, so like I mentioned, the turn one board is really just like setting everything up for um your second turn, but like after this, it's just going off. Um, so I don't know why he does that in a and then he's like lost his whole board, well lost his whole hand. Um, something I really like about duo is the two tokens you can use to block your opponent's link monsters. So like with Electromite, you can put this in the zone side Electromite points too, and it essentially stops their pendulum zone sometimes, and just use them with an eighteen hundred attack monster, which is really useful for just like shutting down your opponent's turns and then going off on your turn, which is essentially what you want to do, is you want to get to that second turn. So if you duo them and that is, is enough to end their turn, and you can just go off from there, which is really important, you want to get to the end of their turn. So once you're at the end of their turn, and you're able to just like explode out a board, your opponent's just not going to be able to really keep up or do anything, which is really what just makes this deck so good. All right, so uh, let's get to that deck list. So before we begin, um, I just want to say to, to um, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about this deck. Do you guys think that this is going to be enough to uh, change up the meta a bit? Um, we do have uh, 12 decks that made top cut at YCS Bo Bosham, I believe it was pronounced, and there was a good amount of tops at YCS Atlanta. Do you think that Ojama ABC is going to be able to join that meta? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and also uh, some suggestions that you guys would think. So let's get right into this. Um, so we're playing two of each of the vanillas, Ojama Green, Yellow, and Black, um, two of each of the ABC pieces. So we're, like these cards here are basically like a core, like the cards that you want to see a lot, because they just... um. Like stuff like Duo, Red, it just gets you to these, and these cards just really extend your plays, basically. Um, next is 2 Ash. I couldn't really think of what to fill in. I thought about um, playing Ojama matching, but I didn't know how I felt about that card, because you also had to play uh, the Arm Dragon level 3. Next is um, 2 Ojama Reds and 3 Ojama Blue. This is our effect Ojamas. I'm only playing uh, 2 Reds, because I didn't really like seeing multiples in my hand, because if you just normal summon one special summon the other, then you just kind of like lost out on 2 Reds, basically. So I didn't like to see it like, once in a while. And then 3 Ojama Blue. At first I thought Blue was kind of bad, because you have to wait for your opponent to destroy it, but if they do destroy it, then um, you have to search out basically your whole deck. You can search out any Ojama card you need. Next is 3 Ojama Modification, which I talked about earlier. This card is basically the card that you want all the time, because it's just such a crazy card. Um, it's a fusion, and it's a draw spell. Um, it's not just a fusion, it's just getting your material. It's just throwing them on the board, which means that you can use the material for something before you make your ABC. One Delta Hurricane. I've seen people playing this at 2, but I don't really like that too. I think it's pretty bricky at 2. Um, but it, a board wipe is still a board wipe, and it's actually kind of easy to meet the conditions to use it. Um, so yeah, we're only going to be playing that one. 2 Ojama Magic. Um, this card is just absolutely insane. You send it to the grave, and you get to add 3 cards to your hand. So um, basically, putting this in the grave with anything is a Plus two, I believe. Um, it's just a really good card, and it gets to your vanillas. Three full spiritual goods. Um, just send the duo to the grave. Uh, if we have duo in the grave, we kind of just win because you banish that and you summon your Ojamas. Then there's three terraforming because um, Union Hanger is still an insanely good card, and also Ojama Country. Uh, speaking of those, we're playing two Union Hangers have three. Um, the reason for that is kind of for space and the one country because it's scarred Ojama card and special summon Ojama monster, and you can scarred Ojama magic. So with Ojama Country, what you're gonna do is if you scarred magic and get a monster back, you break even on that, and then you get to search three cards, so you kind of go plus three just by scarring. Next is going to be 3 Ojama Duo. Like I mentioned before, the card can actually shut down your opponent's combos, as well as, as well as it having a really good banish effect. And finally, 3 Ojama Party. This card is insanely... just like, it's just so good, it's such a broken card. Um, it's a reinforcement of the army for any, any Ojama card in your deck. Um, it has a Time Star Magician effect here, where if an Ojama... or if a Light Machine Fusion would be destroyed by Battle or card effect, um, you get to banish one Ojama card from your hand, field, or graveyard, and then it's not destroyed. And finally it has this effect down here, which is kind of useful. If this card is sent to the graveyard, it's to summon as many of your banished Ojama monsters as possible. The reason I say kind of useful is because most of the time your Banshee Ojama's are getting to pull back for modification. Now in the extra deck, there's going to be um, the standard 3 ABC Dragon Buster, one Tornado Dragon, and one Gooska. Those are just going to be our two rank 4s. One Sky Cavalier. Uh, I thought about dropping this card, but it's still a really good um, non-targeting, non-destroying removal. One number 64. Uh, this card kind of just leads into an OTK if you have two other really big monsters on the field. One Boral Load, one Saryuja, and one Firewall. Uh, these are going to be our rank 4s, and they're all really easy to make, as you guys see. Um, you can really make probably two or all three of them in one go, which is really neat with this deck, because all three of them just have crazy powerful effects right now. This is, next is going to be Deco Talker. You don't really make this fight too much because you're making your, uh, your rank 4s. But if you don't have a way to get to your 4s, you can always just make Deco Talker. And for our uh, link 2s, it's going to be a Genius, a uh, Proxy, and Underclock. These three are all really generic, so they're all really easy to use in this deck, except for uh, Genius, since it's two machine monsters. But um, it's still super simple to make in this deck because ABC can tag out, uh, simulation, get your pieces for Genius. It's really simple. And then finally, Link Spider. This card um, is pretty interesting because, one, it can use its own effect to get an extra vanilla monster out. And then, two, say you have like two blacks, a yellow, and a green, you can get rid of one of your blacks for spider, and I have four different names for your Shoryu instead of three. Um, and a card that I've heard other people playing is Ojama Matching. Um, I haven't even read this card before, but I know they have to play uh, an Arm Dragon to use this, so I'm going to check this card out right now. What you can do for this is send one Ojama card, or Ojama Muscle from your hand, or face up from the field to grave, add an Ojama monster with a different name, and a Arm Dragon monster from your deck, or grave to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one of those monsters. So it's an extra normal summon, uh, you get to search two cards, and you can send either a duo, or magic to your grave. Then you get to banish this card from the graveyard to target three of your banished Jamas, shuffle them into your deck, and draw a card. Um, well, the problem there is you're already going to be doing that with modifications, so that effect's not too useful. But, um, the other effects are still really strong. You have to normal summon, but the only problem is, um, Hard Arm Dragon basically becomes not Hard Arm Dragon, um, Arm Dragon level 3 essentially would become a Garnet. Having it in your hand is just really bad, and you won't be able to use this card. Um, and if you play this at, like, 3 or something, or 2, you wouldn't want to see uh, Arm Dragon as well as this, because now you're not searching anything. Um, 
So that's the reason I'm not playing that, because I know a lot of people will like ask questions about why I'm not playing certain cards, and this is probably going to come up a lot in the comments, so that's why I'm not playing with drop matching. Um, let me know you guys think in the comments below, and while you're checking out the comments, be sure to check out the description where you can find the links to all the Garo Gaming media, like Twitter, the Discord, Facebook, and the Twitch, which I do plan on bringing back. I recently did do an, a new live stream where I was playing out Animal Magicians on Duolingo, so yeah, be sure to look for um, the Garo Gaming Twitch in the future. See you guys next time.